Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. By the grace of God, we're looking at a topic: meditating and planning dreams to reality. Meditating and planning dreams to reality. On the series, the reality of great export. Host my humble self, brother K. Text taken from the book of First Timothy chapter four, from verse fifteen down to sixteen. But let's pray before we begin. Jesus, in appreciation for the bread and our nostrils, we come say thank you for strength for working our us this morning. We say thank you as well. We've come like that one leper in Luke chapter 17 to say, Father, we thank you for all you've done for us. We say for the praise on our adoration in Jesus' name. In Matthew 8, 8, the centurion told Jesus, say, speak the word only. And I'm sure that my servant will make word. We've come to hear your word this morning, Father, we are speak to us. Grant us understanding of your word and grant us grace to become doers of your word. For in Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. Topic one more time. Meditating and planning dreams to reality. Under the series, the reality of great expert host my humble self the K text taken by first Timothy chapter four from verse fifteen to sixteen. I read from verse fifteen. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profit may appear to all. Verse sixteen. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name for the reading. Genesis chapter six from verse 5 down to 22. Of course, from verse 5, God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination, the thought of his heart, was only evil continually. And in verse 6, and he repented God, he has made man. And of course, God wanted to destroy the man. He determined to destroy the whole earth. And in verse 8, but Noah found grace in the sight, in the eyes of the Lord. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Verse 14. Make thee an act of Gova wood that is planning in question. This is what planning, this is meditation. And Noah began to meditate upon this. And he began to produce this thing. And he began to do what God asked him. He said, Make thee an act of Gova wood. The rooms shall be making the ark. And shall pitch it within and without with pitch. And in verse 15, and this is the fashion which thou shalt make it up. The length of the ark shall be 3,000 cubit, the length of it 50 cubit, and the height of it 30 cubit. A window in verse 16 shall thou make to the ark, and in the cubit shall thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shall thou set in the side. Therefore, with lower, second and third story, shall thou make it and verse 17 and behold i even i do bring a flood of water upon the earth to destroy all the flesh and we saw that came to pass but no one every animal in peers they were preserved according to the dictate plan of the law in genesis chapter 24 from verse 62 down to 65 and isaac came from the way of the well Lahario, for he dwell in the south country and in verse 63 and isaac went out to meditate in the field at the evening time, he went out to, to a reason within himself. He went out to a plan, to strategize. And he lifted up his eyes and saw, Behold, the camels were coming. I see all your dreams coming to limelight as you engage the power of meditation and planning in Jesus' name. In Joshua chapter 1, from verse 2 down to 8, Therefore, my Moses' servant is dead, and therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people unto the land which I will give thee. He went to the children of Israel, that's God speaking to Joshua there. And he told him in verse 3, Every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon that I have given you, and I have said, as I have said unto Moses. And from the wilderness, even to this Lebanon, even to the great river, the river Ephraim, all the land of the Hittite, and unto the great sea, to us going down of the sun shall be your coast. He said, Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shall not divide for an inheritance of the land which I swear. Unto their fathers to give them. He said in verse 7 again, Only be thou strong and very courageous. Thou mayest observe, thou may there what? Observe to do. That means thou should meditate upon this thing wholly. That means do should, you should plan towards all of this word that you've heard. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from me to the right or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest. And he said in verse 4, in verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Meditate there in day and night. Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So if you want a good success of your dream, then the book of the law must be your meditation day and night. I see God's word being meditation in need. 
in Jesus name. Proverbs 15 verse 22, without counsel, purpose are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are preserved. But the NIV version said, plans fail for lack of what? Cancer plans, that means strategy, that means meditation fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. You will succeed your dreams to reality in Jesus' name. John 8, 4 to 9. At a leisure time, you can read talking about the woman that was caught in adultery, brought to Jesus. They won't hear what Jesus will say. And Jesus was meditating all through, and he was giving them answers after his meditation. So he that never sinned should cast the first stone. And every one of them left. Hebrews chapter 2, from verse 4 to 8. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. So every house is what is built, that is strategically is meditated upon to reality that means his word is planned to reality by some man but he that built all things is god and most verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after i pray god will help your dreams to reality in jesus name and the lord bless his word and grant us understanding for us to continue in jesus name. topic one more time meditating and planning dreams to reality under the series, The Reality of Great Exploit, host my humble self, Luke K. text, taken first, first Timothy, rather, chapter 4, from verse 15 to 16. We'll further read in Genesis 6, 13 to 20, to Genesis 24, 62 to 65, Joshua 1, 2 to 8, Proverbs 15, 22, John 8, 4 to 9, Hebrews 3, 4 to 5. Please, at your free time, you can read these Bible passages again, and I'm sure God will speak to you through them. And certainly, you're going to be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is whatever project you don't meditate and plan its end will never see its end. I take that again. Whatever project you don't meditate and plan its end will never see its end. Take that again. Whatever project you don't meditate and plan its end will never see its end. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic meditating and planning dreams to reality on that teaching series on the reality of great exploit. By way of introduction, let's understand that meditation is the pivot for good planning. No great vision ever fulfill itself. For everything we see today are product of others' thought and meditation. Nothing ever fulfill itself without extra input of work. However, this work begins with a quality thought, quality meditation, and a quality strategic planning. Below, let's know that the subject of meditation and planning is key to accomplishing great exploit in life. As such, by the grace of God, we shall learn about the importance of this subject of meditation and good planning. And I pray at the end of this 10 minute God will grant his understanding of this subject matter in Jesus' name. In Exodus chapter 25, from verse 1 to 40, the Lord spoke to Moses in verse 2 Speak unto the children of Israel that they should bring an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart, ye shall take it by offering. And he said in verse 8, And let them make a sanctuary. That I may dwell among them. So God commanded Moses, tell children of Israel to bring an offering that I will build a sanctuary that I, the Lord, will dwell there. And in verse 9, according to all that I showed thee after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments, therefore, even so shall ye make it. So God strategically planned the sanctuary to be built, and he began to tell Moses. And they that make an ark of sheeting wood, two cubits and half shall be the length therefore, and a cubit and a half the, the breadth therefore, and a cubit and a half the height therefore. Verse 12 said, And thou shalt cast four wings of gold for it, and put them in the four corners therefore, and two wings shall be in the one side of it, and two wings in the other side of it. Verse 13 said, And thou shalt make staffs of sheeting wood, and overlay them with gold. Verse 15 said, The staffs shall be in the rings of the ark, they shall not be taken from it. Verse 16 said, And thou shalt put into the ark the testimony which I have given thee. And verse 17, And thou shalt make a messy seat of pure gold, two cubits and a half shall be the length therefore, and a cubit and a half the bread therefore. Verse 18 said, And thou shalt make two cherubims of gold, and beaten work shalt thou make them in the two ends of the mercy seed. Three bowls in verse 33 and all that. He kept on giving him instruction how the temple should be built. And said in verse 37, And thou shalt make the seven lamps therefore, and they shall light the lamps therefore, that they may give light over against. And in verse 40, And look thou that thou makest them after their pattern which was showed thee in this mount. So before you begin anything, 
you must strategically sit down and check it out, reason it through to reality. And I see every of your dream coming to Lamlight in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 to 13. At the leisure time, we can read all of this. Said, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do. That means to meditate and to plan upon it. Observe and to do all his commands which I have commanded this day. The Lord thy God will send you on high above all nations of the earth. And all those blessings shall come upon thee and over thee if thou shalt what? Hearken strategically, of course, in meditation. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It said, Blessed shall thou be, verse 3, in the city, blessed shall thou be in the field, blessed shall be the fruit of thy ground, verse 4, blessed shall be the fruit of their, of, of their cattle, the increase of their kind, and the flocks of their sheep, and all that begin to count all the blessings down to verse 13. All these blessings. Verse 13 said, And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be native, thou shalt hearken unto the command of the Lord thy God, which I commanded this day to observe. So when you see men of meditation, when you see men of strategic planning, Certainly, they end up at the top. I see you ending at the top of the top in Jesus. Now, first Kings chapter 5, from verse 5 to 18. And behold, I propose to build a house unto the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord spoke unto David my father, saying, Thy son, whom I set upon thy throne in thy room, he shall build a house unto my name, as Solomon to build a house. And in verse 6, now therefore command thou that they hear me see that trees out of the Lebanon. He began planning strategically. After deep meditation on it, and my servant shall be with thy servant, and unto thee will I give higher for thy servant according to all that thou shalt appoint. For thou knowest that there is not among us any that can skill to him timber like unto the Sidonite. And in verse 8, and Hiran sent to Solomon, saying, I have considered the things which thou saidest to me for, and I will do all thy desire concerning the timber of it. And Heron gave Solomon cedar trees and fig trees according to all his desire. Verse 15. And Solomon had three scores and ten thousand that bear bodies and four score thousand heavens in the mountains. And of course, the work began. And of course, it was completed. And Luke chapter 21, from verse 14 to 15. Settle it therefore in your heart not to meditate before what ye shall answer. So, meditation is key to success in life. Say, for I will give you a mouth, verse 15, and wisdom. With all your enemies, all your adversaries shall not be able to get saved nor resist. I see God bringing all your dreams to reality in Jesus' name. We've been trying to look at this subtopic. What's the reality of great export? What is the reality of this subject? And we saw the first point that it is real when we believe in the testimony and the acts of great exploit of parts. We saw the following day also, as on Tuesday precisely, that of course was the reality of great export. We said it works on our belief on our own great exploit dream. So whatever we dream of, we should believe in it and pursue it to reality. Of course, today we're looking at meditating and planning dreams to reality. Please, I want to employ you to reference uh, the previous teachings we have on the subject, and I'm sure you're going to be blessed in Jesus' name. we have been trying to look at the subtopic one more time. What's the reality of great exploit? And we're looking at meditating and planning dreams to reality. Meditating and what? And planning dreams to reality. I begin by saying that no dream will ever fulfill itself. Every dream must be worked out by someone. So we're looking at what's the reality of great exploit. We're looking at meditating and planning dreams to reality. This is an act of deep mental imaginations and reasoning with the inner mind for some steps to actualize it. One's dreams to reality meditating and planning dreams to reality we say it is an act of deep mental imaginations and reasoning with the inner mind for some steps to actualize what is time out of this world dreams i see you accomplishing great feat in your endeavors and your career in jesus name even in genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 31 we see god himself in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and the earth was that form and void the spirit of god began to move upon the face of the of the earth and of course, God began to meditate and think through. And God said, in verse 3, let there be light, and there was light. And of course, he saw that light was good. And in verse 26, and God said, let us make man. Who was it communicating with the host of heaven? They began to meditate. They began to plan. They began to reason through. So let us make man out of, out of our image and out of our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the earth. And over every cattle, over everything that we were upon the earth. And of course, so God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he, he, male and female created he, he, then. 
And of course, when you read chapter 2, God mold from the earth. And of course, he formed man and he breathed to man and man became a living being. So man was strategically, he was a product of planning and meditation. Even before the woman came forth, God made man to sleep and he took out of his rib to make the woman. And of course, all of this are a product of deep meditation and good planning. As such, man cannot achieve any feat without meditation and without good planning. I see you granting your grace for meditation and good planning in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 1, from verse 2 to 8. After Moses died, God told Joshua, said, Take the children of Israel to the promised land. He said, Be thou strong. However, the book of the law in verse 8 shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate there in there. And that means you shall what? You shall chew the word every day and night. Then you make your way prosperous, and then you're going to have good success. As I chapter 64, verse 4 said, For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard not perceived by the air, neither had the eye seen, O oh God, beside thee, what he had prepared for them that waited for him, waited for him, go not meditate upon his word, meditate upon him. That means you just begin to reason his awesomeness. You begin to reason his word, his bigness and his mightiness. And before you know it, revelation begins to drop on you. First Timothy chapter 4 from verse 14 to 15 said, 15 to 16 said, meditate upon those things, give that say holy to them, that their profiting may appear to them. You're a man of meditation. Your profiting will appear and all will see. And I see your meditation coming to limelight in Jesus' name. One more time, we're looking at subtopic, what's the reality of great export? And we're looking at the point, meditating and planning dreams to reality. We said, no dream fulfill itself. Everyone must work out his dream to reality. So we're looking at meditating and planning dreams to reality. And we said it's an act of deep mental imaginations mm -hmm. and reasoning with the inner mind for sound steps mm -hmm. to actualize great dreams or what is time out of this world mm -hmm. exploit. And I see mm -hmm. you accomplishing that in Jesus' name. We can read Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 31, Joshua 1, 2 to 8, Isaiah chapter 64, verse 4, First Timothy chapter 4, from verse 14 to 15. More to all said, this also is thinking true spirited solutions and light to accomplishing a definite great feat on the earth. This also is what? Thinking through spirited solutions and light to accomplishing a definite great feat on this earth. I see you accomplishing one man time the impossible in Jesus name. In Genesis chapter 6 from verse 13 down to 22 we see how God was commanding Noah how he could build the ark of course, no one meditated on it, and he began doing what he was doing. People came, of course, to be discouraging him, and be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? We've not had rain here for some years, and you're building an ark and thinking rain is going to come and all that. And I guess they must have been mocking him. But the man kept on, as a God, keep giving him dictates on how to build the ark using a gova tree. And he did that, and the flood came. Everything was destroyed, but the man was preserved. I see God preserving your life as you meditate upon his word, as you meditate and plan through his vision for your life. In Jesus' name. In name of chapter 1 from verse 1 to 11, we see a cup bearer, just a servant to King Atezas. The man had in verse 1 the word of Nehemiah, the son of Achilia, and he came to pass in the Mount Chilia in the 20th year as I was in Susan the palace, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came he and said to me of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And in verse 3, and they said unto me, The remnants that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates therefore are upon with fire. And it came to pass when I had this word that I sat down. What was he sitting down doing? He was meditating through, he was planning through, and he wept and he mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before God. Of heaven that he wants to go and rebuild that city and of course in chapter 2 he went to tell king says, give me timber give me your security let me go build the place of my father's separate and of course the king gave him what he desired and in then my chapter 6 verse 15 precisely in just 52 days these guys accomplishing what is done they possibly they renewed a burnt down city in just 52 days imagine they were walking all through the night season so most of these construction company that work even in the night they learn from this great man called Nehemiah. there was no time for rest they couldn't take off their clothes they were fighting at the center they were building and in just 52 days they accomplished their mission i see god making you 
to accomplish what men term the impossible in Jesus' name. John chapter 8 from verse 4 to 10, they say unto him, Master, this man was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law said, We should stone her. What do you say? And Jesus began to meditate. He knelt down, bowed his knees, went down, and he was thinking through. And again, he stooped down again and wrote on the ground. And he said, We've heard being convicted by his own conscience, said, Who? I've never seen among you. She be the first to cast a stone on this woman. And everyone then left from the eldest down to the least of them. I told the woman, Go and see no more. And of course, she was left alone in Luke chapter 14 from verse 27 to 29. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. He said in verse 28, For which of you, intending to build a tower, seated not down first and counted the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? Verse 29 said, Least happily, after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it. And all that, behold, is begin to mock him. I pray all your dreams as you meditate on them, all your God-given dreams, all your God-given vision, as you meditate and as you plan on it, I see God granting you grace to accomplish them in Jesus' name. At your leisure time, you can read Genesis chapter 6, 13 to 22, Nehemiah 1, 1 to 11, Nehemiah 6, 15, John 8, 4 to 10, Luke 14, 27 to 29. Lastly, beloved, let's know that meditating and planning through for the actualization of one's dreams begins with a lighted, knowledgeable, clean heart. If a man's heart or mind is polluted, it will only generate and produce evil fruit. But for one to achieve a clean fruit and steps from his mind, he or she must be a Christ-translated mind filled with God. And on this light, I charge you to accept and to confess Jesus to be your Lord and your Savior today so you can have a mind and a heart transplant so that your meditation will come out with pure substance so that your planning will bring out good solutions to you and of course you'll be empowered with grace to actualize your dream Joshua chapter 1 from a 6 down to 8 verse 6 said be strong and of good courage for unto this people shall I divide for inheritance the land which I swear unto your fathers to give them said in verse 7 only be thou strong that's God speaking to Joshua said again he said that thou mayest observe to do that means that what that meditate that plan on the world, all the law which the Lord, which Moses, my servant, have given you. He said, Don't turn to the left or to the right, that thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest. I said, Verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Thou shalt what? Meditate. Thou shalt reason through day and night, and then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Romans chapter 12, 1 or 2 said, I beseech you, therefore, Brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is reasonable service, said in verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is the good and the acceptable and the perfect will of God. I see your mind being transformed to that of Christ in Jesus. In Ephesians 4, 22-26. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, 23 said, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. I see you being renewed in Jesus' name. Hebrews 2, 1 or 3, you can't escape the mediocrity of poor meditation, except you accept Jesus. If you truly want to say yes to Jesus, I'm going to place your hand on your chest, you'll this prayer after me. Say, Jesus, I come to you this morning as a sinner. I know I'm for sure of your glory in every aspect of my life. Forgive me my sins, Jesus. Wash me with your blood. I confess you to be my Lord and my Savior. Right now in the book of life. Grab me grace, Abba Father, to please you the days of my life. Wash my heart. Wash my mind. According to Ezekiel chapter 36, from verse 25 down to 27. Grab me a new heart. Grab me a renewed spirit to meditate and to plan aright. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We take two prayers. First prayer, Father, renew my mind to meditate and plan correctly for the actualization of my divine great exploit dreams in Jesus. And first Timothy 4, verse 15 said, meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that their profit may appear to all. But it's understanding. Let's pray, Father, renew my mind to meditate and plan correctly for the actualization of my divine great exploit dreams indeed in Jesus' name. Last prayer, Father, empower many Nigerians to meditate, to plan and to work through their dreams to reality in this nation, thereby making this nation Nigeria highly industrious in jesus name second chronicles chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 said and solomon determined to build a house for the name of the lord and a house for his kingdom and in verse 2 and solomon told 
told our three scores and ten thousand men to bear bodies and four score thousand heap up the mountains and three thousand and six thousand to oversee them that's a whole lot of people working on this project with his understanding let's pray father empower many nigerians to meditate to plan and to walk through their dreams to reality in this nation nigeria they are by making this nation highly industrious mm -hmm. where many citizens will be engaged to work in jesus name mm -hmm. thank you for hearing us for in jesus name we pray thank you thank you god bless you pray that this day shall be a day of good news for you in jesus name mm -hmm.